Hank Jr. is here. We're talking about his new album, the Almera Club Recordings. Quite a few characters are displayed in your album here, including Rufus Payne. I know Rufus died in 1937, mm-hmm. but as I understand it, he taught your daddy how to play the guitar. Yeah. Probably taught him a few other things too, huh? Yeah. Uh, someone asked Dad one time, uh, Hank, have you ever had any formal music training? And he said, I got all the training I ever needed from t Tot." That was a great answer. Uh, t Tot, Mr. Rufus Payne, came from New Orleans and migrated to Montgomery. So that was his background. So this song that I have wanted to write for this man for so long, because anyone knows me knows that I'm immersed in Delta blues. And if I'm sitting around with uh, uh, Toy Caldwell or Kid Rock Mm -hmm. or Dickie Betts, we're going to be an open G and we're going to be playing some blues and some slide. So I I never approached it right. I did it, you know, how am I going to tell you what I want to tell you? T taught, okay, and dad, and he taught him, but gosh, he was just a boy. Once I realized, okay, daddy met him when he was nine. He died when he was 14. I had to, and then it, it took me maybe 30 minutes and I pictured a little boy, which is little Hiram, with this great big smile and laughter meeting this idol every day uh, for his, his lesson, his guitar lesson, and, and making money now, mm-hmm. you know, selling the peanuts and shining the shoes. And it was so much easier once I said, no, for not not a boy, not a not a man, not a happy, sad, forlorn figure, whatever. Right. A happy little boy. Then it was easy. And Here. my kids, I love it when they sit there and say, "Daddy, play T Tot." Okay, you've got the guitar there. You you all warmed up. You feel comfortable to maybe do the T Tot live with us here? Absolutely. Good. All right. Well, let's do it in honor of Rufus Payne, known also as T Tot. Here's a song from Hank Jr. and the Almera Club recordings. Rufus Payne died in 1937. Daddy was 14 years old, but got to be with Mr. Payne from the time he was nine for all the musical training Daddy ever needed. Every morning, old T Tot come around, setting up a shoe shine box in town. He'd sing good morning Montgomery. He'd sing good morning Montgomery. He'd sing good morning Montgomery, Alabama. Don't be sad, just be glad. There's no way you could feel bad when this dear man with a tin pan started to play some blues. White boy, little Hiram Hank Took him in right under his wing And he'd say, T-Tot, make it ring He'd say, T-Tot, make it ring He would laugh and he would sing Could you please show me, show me, show me, show me If only I could play like you Lord, I'd give anything Learned to play like the old man said he would Little Hiram got his name in Hollywood I wish the T-Tot could have stayed around Then maybe little Hiram would not have drowned And all those things that does a boy that likes to sing no good
Little Hiram's music's had a worldwide touch And we all owe Mr. Rufus Payne so much Yeah, we got peanuts, fresh peanuts Drop your money in the tin cup I can see them now with a big old smile Splitting the day's pay up, yeah Fresh peanuts. Now, Hank, be sure and shine them up. Yes, Rufus Payne and Hiram Hank loved each other so much. Could you show me, show me, show me? If only I could play like you, I'd give anything. It's from the Almera Club Recordings, Hank Jr. and the T-Tot song. Now, you have been called one of the most influential artists in music history. And many great musicians, I'm Among sure. Among a lot of other things. Well, <laughs> sure. Yeah, but that's, that's another special. Okay. Uh, but many great musicians have crossed your paths along the way. Who are your influences? Lightning Hopkins is one of the greatest blues men. Jimmy Reed, Bats Domino, Jerry Lee Lewis. Now, I'm talking when I was, you know, a really small boy. You know, you got your Jimmy Reed album and you do, 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 you got me run, do, do, because it was easy. And then you built and a whole, that. right, a whole lot of us got our little guitar and Jimmy Reed, do, 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 do. <laughs> And you know what? It hadn't changed a whole lot since then, really. <laughs> and the jug. <laughs> The jug. I'm playing some jugs on here, too. Whose idea was that? Mine, of course. Okay. <laughs> Old Thunderhead Hawkins. <laughs> Wait a minute. That, let me ask I said, I want to play a jug. And he, he looked and he said, what? He, he said, how are we going to mic that? I said, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just blow in it and you mic it. get a mic. It's good enough for <laughs> Brother Oswald and good enough for Grand Ole Opry. It's good enough for me. Absolutely. <laughs> the last pork chop is what we're going to play. And I was looking at, I was trying to find some information about the writer of this song, Thunderhead Hawkins. Can't find a lick on this guy. Who is Thunderhead Hawkins? Thunderhead is a guy that appears now and then. Mm -hmm. You know why they call him Thunderhead? No. Because he fell off of this mountain and knocked his brains out, but he's, he's, that's why they call him Thunderhead. Oh. <laughs> is that why you he call makes, him? He makes appearances in Kansas City and Mobile and Montgomery. Panama City, he's a legend down there. <laughs> This last pork chop, you've got to tell me the story on it. <laughs> well, Neil Smith and Derek Thomas and some of my buddies, the Kansas City Chiefs, used to take me to a place called Maxine's in Kansas City. Is it still there? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's still there. She's been there 40 years. Mm -hmm. And now, believe me, like Mike used to say, they don't mow a lot of grass in the neighborhood around Maxine's there. <laughs> you don't need a lawnmower. <laughs> we would go in there and eat, and it's absolutely the greatest pork chops and gravy and mm -hmm. just you've ever had. So we get back in the car to head to the church to record the cross on the highway, and uh, Chuck says, I can't believe we left that last pork chop out there on that plate. He said, that's the greatest pork chop I've ever eaten in my life. I said, I told you, and I said... Why did we leave that last pork chop? I said, that is an absolute wonderful blues title for Thunderhead. I know, and I'm and that's sitting, how it happened. I'm sitting here hungry right now thinking, oh, I wish we why were there. did you leave that yeah. pork chop? Yeah, in the old days, me and you would be in my jet, baby, and we'd be there in just a <laughs> two hours, buddy. <laughs> All right. Thunderhead going to be playing now. Well, you know you're gonna get the hot for some gal And you just can't stop You make it love all day I mean, it's better than pork chop Because one is good as the other If you know what I mean Some of us likes a little bit of fat some of us like that meat just a little bit lean Well, I like gravy on the side Hot and juicy loving 
brown sugar on top. Link sausage right out of the oven. Ooh, sometime you get to eat. Ooh, Lord, and you just can't stop. Make me wonder why, oh, why. Why did I leave a last pork chop? Man, I met this fine gal in the choir. She sure could sing. She said, come on down my house at the church. I'm going to give you ham, hocks, and beans. We devoured each other. I mean, her kitchen was smoking hot. Have mercy. I had to jump up and open up my window, and I said to myself, Why did I leave at last pork chop? in love I was offered some more blue plate specials but man no I was a fool for her till I found out she'd been serving that pie while I was gone punching the clock I thought about that waitress down to Maxine and I said to myself why did I leave that last pork chop One fried and one with gravy, please. Well, now you know the musical story of The Last Pork Chop, written uh, by the great Thunderhead Hawkins. Yay! Thunderhead. Part, part of the Almera Club recordings. He's going to get his own contract one day. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> when we come back, Hank Jr. and Kid Rock. That's right. Kid Rock. Bobby. will rock the house. Bobby. 